Hello, my name is Colton. I'm a technician over here at Mori's Invergrove Mazda, and I am showing you how to do a quick and easy replacement of your battery. It's fairly simple. Um, if you've been driving for a while, you're gonna end up having to replace your battery at least once. Typical life expectancy in the Midwest is about five years, and that's kind of pushing it. Anywho, it's pretty straightforward to replace your battery. Every single battery is pretty much the same meat and potatoes. You're gonna have your negative and positive terminals and a battery hold down to hold the battery down so it doesn't fly around everywhere when you're going over bumps. So first and foremost, you'll need your tools required. Typically it's just a 10 millimeter socket that you really need, typically a deep one. And that's really all you really need to do to get going. So for starters, go ahead and grab your negative terminal. Move that out of the way. And then you got your positive terminal as well, which is next. And there you go. The battery is disconnected from the vehicle. All electrical systems are now off. Next up, you have the hold down. Be sure to make your hardware in an easily accessible place so you don't lose it. The hold down then comes off and the battery is good to remove. Ugh. That's about to it. So next up, kind of just inspect everything that you have going on. Make sure nothing looks out of the ordinary, no corrosion or anything or split ends on wires or anything like that. And then next up, it's just simply reinstalling or putting in a new battery. Always keep a mental note of what end you took the battery out in, because if you put it in opposite, you will be having a bad time. Battery kind of just fits in there. And it's just the reverse procedure from what you did already. Go ahead and grab your hold down, slide that in. There you are, that's how you install a battery.